Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lesson. We have number 7 today where we're going to find angles uh, using sine and cosine instead of tan. Uh, very similar process, um, but yeah, let's get into it. We have our first triangle with a right angle. We have our angle of interest on the right and the bottom is 25 and the left side is 15. We're gonna go ahead and label those sides. So, okay, this time across from the hypotenuse, we have, or across from the right angle, we have the hypotenuse. So that's H on this side. And from the angle of interest, 15 would be opposite. And those are the two sides that we know. That's what we're gonna be interested in. That is the opposite and hypotenuse. So, which trigonometric ratio should we use? Sine, cos, or tan? Well, Opposite and hypotenuse are in sine, so that means that our equation is sine of theta is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in the values that we know. We're looking for the angle, so we don't know that. Is equal to, opposite is 15, hypotenuse is 25. Okay, now we know that when we have sine on one side, we're gonna move it over so we can isolate the theta, isolate the angle. But now we need to do the inverse of it. So that would be theta is equal to sine inverse, 15 over 25. So theta is equal to, let's go ahead and do that in our calculator, 15 divided by 25 equals second function you can see that it went a little second function here. You probably will get that on your calculator somewhere too. And we're doing sine, inverse sine. So we get 36.9. So 36.9 degrees is our angle in this triangle. Let's do another one. Maybe we'll end up with cos. Maybe we won't. All right, we have, this is our triangle this time. Right angle here, 24 on this bottom right side. We have our angle of interest on the right, and the hypotenuse is labeled as 36. So across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, always easy to recognize. Then from there, we have to use our angle of interest. So from our angle of interest, 24 is the adjacent side. So that means that we are going to be using, let's see, let's write out our ratio. So, uh, uh, a and H, that's in cosine, so we have cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. We'll plug in what we know. We don't know theta. Cosine is just a button on our calculator. It's equal to adjacent, which is 24, over hypotenuse, which is 36. Let's go ahead and move the cosine over. So theta is equal to the inverse cosine, 24 divided by 36. Theta is equal to, let's see, 24 divided by 36 is 0.66666, okay. And then we second function, and then we do a cosine this time. That's 48.2. 48.2 degrees. Okay, let's do another one. First step here, draw the triangle and then label our sides. Identify the sides and the angle of interest. Okay, so across from the right angle, so the hypotenuse, and then we have an adjacent that's next to the right angle. Step one done, we have identified the side, uh, the sides. We're going to pick which trigonometric ratio to use. We have adjacent and hypotenuse, that is cosine. Cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Plug in those numbers, cosine of theta is equal to, adjacent is 19 and hypotenuse is 32. Inverse cosine 
19 over 32 and we'll go ahead and find out what angle that is 19 divided by 32 equals inverse cosine 53.6 53.6 degrees. We'll go ahead and circle that. I love it when you circle answers. Helps me. Um, hopefully that doesn't ruin it for you. Um, yeah, so we picked out which trigonometric ratio to use. We wrote out the uh, equation and we filled in what we knew. We then moved the cosine over to the other side, which means we had to inverse cosine. And we did the fraction and we found out what our degrees would be. Let's do last one. Last one. right angle up here, angle of interest on the left, 43 and 25. So the hypotenuse is clearly 43 across from the right angle. That's the hypotenuse. And then our other side that we know is across from theta. So that is over here. So that is the uh, opposite side. That's across from it. So if we write out our ratios, Opposite and hypotenuse is sine. We're going to go ahead and use sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of theta, let's input what we know. That's 25 for opposite and 43 for hypotenuse. We're going to inverse sine because we're looking for an angle. So theta. Anytime you're looking for an angle, you're going to use inverse sine. If you're looking for a side, you will not. And then we will inverse sine. It's this button. So I already did the second function, inverse sine, 35.5. Okay. So again, we picked out which ratio we're going to use, filled in the values, did the inverse sine, came up with our degrees. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in class.